What we're looking at now is we're looking at flat ironing. First of all, what I'm going to suggest to Holly is that you section this. So rather than taking a big section, watch what happens. When I take a big section like this, can you see I'm pinching the hair from underneath? See that? So what I'm doing is I'm creating a line or a crease underneath. What you're going to do is I'm going to suggest you section diagonal back. Okay, then that way the hair is going to fall in its natural falling position. Now watch what I'm going to do. Look at the teeth of the comb. The teeth of the comb are up, flat iron comes in, and I start moving even before I start closing. And now look at how slow I'm going. And look how the comb leads me. Now watch me bevel. Bevel. Now look at the movement. Look at the movement I got out of that. See that? Right? Look at this section. When you look at that section, look how I'm getting movement out of that. Rather than me taking the big clump at once, all I'm doing is just flat, flattening that top surface. You can see I'm affecting everything here. Diagonal back, another slice. Okay, now watch the comb. Comb comes underneath. I'm going to take what I can handle. See, I just divide that in half. There, compress. Now look where my hand is. My hand, my right hand, is up close to the plates. If I want less compression, my hand moves away from the plate. Fine hair fine hair, we're going to move away from the plate. Medium to coarse texture hair, curly hair, we're going to move close to the plate. Maximum compression, less compression. Sam, why are you moving down the flat iron for fine hair? And why are you even flat ironing fine hair? What we're doing is we're flat ironing for more polish. So we're not relying on our round brush and our blow dryer to give us the complete polish. We're going to rely on the flat iron and the comb or a round brush to give me the polish. Watch for example. Look how fine hair, I'm going to move away from the plate. I come through, I compress, and I still move slowly. Your rate of speed will determine the success of your flat ironing skills. Sometimes we pass too quickly, and you notice Sam's passing through each section once, maximum twice. So why do we go through it? It amazes me when I walk into salons and I see people like this. Three or four times. Look how much muscle I'm using, how much memory I'm using, muscle memory I'm using. Watch this. You do that three or four times, I'll do this section once and watch the polish I'm going to get. Flat iron skills are so important to remember and so important to hold on to. Not only for every, for coarse or curly hair, but for fine hair too.